good morning everybody. Good morning. So, my name is Ivano Tonuti, I'm the master herbalist for the Bacardi group and particularly for the Martini brand. And I would like to apologize for the absence of Giuseppe Musso that is our master blender for Martini because for due to the travel restriction of Bacardi he was coming from Italy so has been forbidden to travel. So I'm, I'm sorry for that. We'll try to do my best to, to talk for two person okay? and try to not be, not be annoying. Okay? So the goal, the goal today is to, to talk about uh, Martini and, and innovation and try to, uh, in a very short journey, to link the story, the under, more than 150 years of history of Martini together with, with innovation. Okay? So why, why the brand is still there after 150 years. So the unique heritage. So we, we are talking about about a, a brand that one, more than 150 years ago was becoming very quickly a, a, a global brand, and at the time to be a global brand was very very particular. So this has been done by two particular two people, okay. Alessandro Alessandro uh, uh, Martini, that was uh, the the merchant, the, the marketeer of the time, and Luigi Rossi, that is our, our ancestors, the one that create the beverage at that, at that time. Okay. So we are, we are in Turin, 19, 1863. Uh, there was a, a big moment of creation of vermouth in Torino because uh, there was everything. We'll explain a little bit better uh, later on, but most of the big brand of the vermouth has been created in Martini in, in Torino in that in that time, more or less. Okay, Antonio Carpano being the, the, what we consider the representative, the one that created the, the word vermouth, that I know that I'm sure that everybody of you knows from where it comes the word vermouth. Okay, so from the Artemisia, vermouth in English, vermouth in German, and consequently now we have the the the, the written version in French. Okay, so. Immediately after the creation of the, of the Martini, the two guys decide to move to Pessione. Pessione is a very nice town near, near Torino. Uh, there was almost nothing at the time. In, in a few slides we'll see what's, uh, what's happened today. So it was important to create uh, the plant, the first plant where uh, the Martini has been, has been produced and today is still produced. So this is the, 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 main, uh, the main house uh, of the Pessione plant. Okay. Today we are talking about uh, putting all together uh, vermouth, sparkling wine, etc. We are talking about uh, 100, 100 million liter of finished of finish product. Okay talking about uh, vermouth, uh, liquors, uh, sparkling wines, etc. So la gran marca mondiale. Okay. Alessandro Rossi, as I say, was the, the, the merchant, was the guy that was trying to, to sell for the best martini. A, a, an impressive, something that all, all time impressed uh, us, is that at the end of the 18th, uh, 70 countries were selling martini. So you have to think about more or less 150 years ago to travel in 70 different countries and have martini distributed in that country. So the first, the first example of a global, of a global brand. Okay? And then starting from that, there was a series of, of uh, of medal or awards that Martini won all, all along, uh, all along uh, the, the, the days. I forgot something. If you want to uh, ask a question, just please raise the hand, or we can do it at the end. But if you have a question that is important, you can you can ask it. Okay, so a lot of a lot of uh, uh, medals, and I think is a is a good sign. So is recognizing international level that the brand is an important brand but also the product that we are selling are, are good. I, I will tell you how many, how many medals has won Rubino and Brato that are between the last innovation we have, we have done. Okay, so uh, fame and victory are, are, are together. Uh, one of the big things that, that uh, Martini has created is to link a brand with a product. So a lot of people are asking for a martini, not for a vermouth, because the two are strictly, strictly linked. Okay? And this is, I, I think, is a, is a 
is an important thing. So th this guy were able to uh, to demonstrate uh, the link between the quality of the product they were making together with the importance of the of the brand. In 1993, I had the chance to be to be there. There was a, a, an important uh, blend. We were talking about cocktails. Was a, a nice cocktail between two families, okay. and and I think it was it was important that the two families was linked together. There was a long history between between them. Bacardi was uh, distributed by by Martini in Europe. Martini was distributed in U.S. by Bacardi, and two very. Uh, uh, family with a strong heritage. Okay. One was born in 1862, Bacardi and Martini in 1863, so 1863. So evidently there was something already in the in the in the gene of the two companies to put together. So two family companies that put together and immediately all, all the people that were working at the time in Bacardi and Martini were filled to be a, again a unique family. Okay. I'm working, starting working in Martini, I feel Martini important, is my health. Bacardi is also important because I found uh, very good friends in the other side of the, of the ocean. We are talking about Master Blender, Master Elberry, so a few people uh, and, and a certain number of people from a technical point of view that are following the brand, are producing, following the ingredient, etc. And in the other side is exactly the same. So the, the Maestro, Maestros de Ron are, are important as, as we are working together with, with Beppe Musso here in, in Europe for, for Martini. So something that was in the gene of the two companies so it was a a very interesting uh, blend uh, between between the two companies. This is what is today in a, in a in a nice in a nice schema, the plant. Okay, so is almost the town. Whatever is around has been constructed by Martini because at the time there was nothing there was nothing inside. The situation is interesting because there was the very well so at the time all the product alcohol, wine, botanicals etc were coming from uh, uh, from the from the very well. Okay. Today, unfortunately, we are not able to do due to the massive amount of, of goods that are coming. Just to give you an idea, 80 trucks of wine per week are unloaded in the, in the, in the plant. Okay, so it's, it's a massive operation from from logistic point of view, from quality point of view, control everything that is coming. So it, it, it's something that is that is very important. Okay. Uh, now I would like to spend a little bit of time to explain why we are there. Okay, so this is the Italy. It looks like the coronavirus in this moment, so it's not very nice, but <laughs> anyway. <coughs> so we are in, in, this, in this region, okay? And this is very strategic, because uh, uh, in that region we have wines, okay? Very good wines. We have Pancalieri, that is a little town, 20 kilometers from Turin, where from centuries aromatic herbs are cultivated, particularly the famous Artemisia Tsinsium, okay, was cultivated there. So there was all the raw material, needed to make to make a good vermouth and additionally the port of genova is not far from there and genova was one of the important port for spices so they were coming from from the far east okay, all the spices were coming in the port of genova so it was really a, 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 a very good uh, situation from a logistic point of view and the same I was telling you in, in, that, that uh, Martini was one of the first global brand having the Porto Genova to transfer by both all the all the product all around the world was a, a good a good situation geographical situation and the geography is very important because there are the Alps here around okay, that are protecting all, all the regions so uh, and the Po River is the most important uh, river that is crossing the entire north north of Italy uh, it is very important because it create a microclimate around the Pancalieri that is perfect for the cultivation of the of the botanical today uh, we are talking about 60% uh, of the botanical coming from uh, from that from that small town so it, it is a strong link we have in general with all our supplier because uh, with, with the time was necessary to move from from the simple uh, they sell we buy to a real partnership we are talking about natural raw material that are changing all along the year okay so we need to ensure the quality of our product all along the year. So the consistency of the product for us, or the quality of the product for us, is mandatory. 
Okay, we are the serving professional, as most of you are barman. I need to be sure that when you bring a bottle of martini, is the good quality. There is no no need to link to to see what is the year of the of the production. You know that is the product is of the same level uh, of quality every every time. Okay, so. Territory has all been important, and today the partnership with the Cooperative de Pancaeri is still even more important because, from a sustainability point of view, in general, when we talk sustainability, immediately we are thinking about uh, about the environment. It's not just the environment. Today, what we are facing is changing of the climate, but m even more important, there are no new generation that want to make that important job. Okay, so. Martini is trying to construct the link to, to show to the young generation that there is there is an interest to work and, and it's a very hard work to cultivate the botanic. Okay, so but from a sustainability point of view it's something we are trying to, to achieve and it's a nice program to, to, to work on it. So let's talk about the product now. Okay. First launch, first innovation, Martini Rosso. Okay. Someone is is uh, asking us uh, you have a, an, an Antica formula, when you will launch an Antica formula? Here is the Antica formula, 150 years of age, so. And you see the, the entire evolution of the bottle all along the year. For sure, the product with the time has been changed, has been adapted to the, to the, to the time, this is clear. Okay. But the inspiration, the, the, the DNA of the product remain, remain the same. Okay. So, when I say innovation is in our gene, is because it has been all time something very important to look at the future. So when we are talking about another 50 years of story, it's not like uh, to be in a museum with all of dust on top, on top of Martini. Uh, 150 years of evolution, look into the evolution of the wine science, the wine technologies, the science of the botanical, how we can extract in a different way. The botanical I will, I will tell you how much is important that, that part uh, for, for Martini. So, so we are trying all time and the older generation of master blender, master abbasia try to do something to move to the, to the future, to, have, to all time having a look to the future. Before to talk about the, 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 last, the last innovation, two words, very, very few words on, on, the, on the main ingredient. Vino Fiore, so the wine is mandatory. We are talking about vermouth, and not only about vermouth, we'll see later on. Wine is important, so it's something that, again, uh, for us is, is, uh, is the base of everything. And Vino Fiore is the first wine that is, that is produced when you crush the grape. Okay. It's the first harvest because it's the best, it's the best quality that's been all time uh, used in that, uh, in, that, in that part. The main, the main, important, the main uh, uh, wine are the Trebbiano, Cataratto, and, and higher end, because obviously the volume we need is massive. White wine is important because it's much more uh, uh, stable, so it's, it's easy to find the even different wine here, but having the same characteristic, technical characteristic. With the red wine, it will be almost impossible to have that kind of volume with a good, with a good quality. Okay, so again, we are talking with, we are talking about a relationship with supplier, and here again is mandatory. It's mandatory because we need to have to give them visibility for the future. Okay. We are talking about millions of liters, so we need to give every year. Next year we need that, but in the next two or three years we will have need of, of another on another quantity. So ensure them that the business is going is going ahead. Okay. So the quality of the wine and the reason to have the master a master blender. Why is important? Because again we are talking about something that change every year. Okay. My friend Beppe say that standard, the concept, standard concept is a human concept. The natural is not standard. Every year change, whatever change. Okay. So the goal of Beppe and the team in Pessona is to blend the batches of the wine to have all time the same level of quality. Quality, I'll talk quality is more the characteristics, the acidity, the tannins, uh, all the flavor. And we are talking about non-aromatic uh, um, grapes because the aroma will come then after with the botanicals. Okay. This is what we call the garden of the world. Okay. It's just a little example. 
is just to show you that from where are coming the botanicals, okay, and to have a part of the example of the botanical we use, because when we talk about botanical, we can have fruit, we can have herbs, we can have rhizome, roots, uh, woods, fruits, uh, flowers, okay, so is everything. Obviously, uh, sustainability. In sustainability, we try to do our best, the sustainability where we can, but the clothes and the cinema doesn't grow in Europe, so we are obliged to buy it far away, particularly in Madagascar for the clothes and in, from Sri Lanka for the cinnamon. But in this case, the link and the relationship we have with the supplier ensure us that at the origin, the sustainability is taken into account. And when I say sustainability is uh, environment, is the work, no having, not having uh, kids working, people are well pay, uh, paid the, uh, the, the reasonable price that they need to be paid itself. So everything is under control to our, our supplier. Questions? So, innovation is a trendy word today. Everybody making innovation, uh, and there is no a clear definition of innovation. We have our own definition. We want to, to make, when we say innovation, is something that is really different from what was before. Okay, so something that was not existing. A and I start with innovation with Martini Bianco. Because it's interesting, has this product has been created in 1910. Today, after 110 years, is the worldwide most drink vermouth in the world. Okay, after 110 years. So imagine it, Luigi Rossi, which kind of vision had at the time. So was the guy that was creating a method to uh, stabilize the wine. So the color of the wine finally was not changing dramatically, moving from white to, to almost brown in, in very few in very few mo months. Okay, so technology already was one part of the technology starting. Uh, other nice example, Martini Rosato, created in 1980. Today, I don't think, apart from a very small example, but it's the unique brand having a Vermouth Rosato on, on, on the market today. That pink is everywhere. It's very trendy. We've invented it uh, 40, 40 years, more than 40 years ago. Okay. And then, during the year, Martini Gran Lusso has been created uh, in, the frame, in the frame of the, of the 100, uh, 150 year of, of, um, of the born of the brand. Martini Gold with Dolce Gabbana, something that probably you never seen. Martini Spirit has been specifically created uh, for Russia. Uh, uh, some years ago, unfortunately, the, then the brand has decided to change, to change the strategy, so it's not not been uh, not been launched in other in other countries. My colleague told me that to accelerate a little bit, so start to accelerate. The most recent uh, innovation, okay, Reserva Speciale. I think that most of you knows Reserva Speciale, so Rubino and Brato, okay, two new vermouth that has a particularity. Vermo di Torino. So, Vermo di Torino finally is not anymore a, a, a white box. It's a box where there is a clear definition from a European point of view. So it is a, a, um, an indica geographical indication protected. Okay. Together with other small producer of, of, of vermut, we have asked the European community to recognize that the quality of the Vermo di Torino must be written in a clear way. So uh, all the wine from Italy, the Artemisia, the Artemisia must be cultivated in the region, in Piemonte region. The production must be done in Piemonte. Okay, so there are certain rules that must be, that must be uh, followed to have the, the, the opportunity to write on the label uh, uh, Martini uh, Vermo di Torino. Sorry. First example of, of change of innovation, Martini Granusso was a little one. In this case, is a is a product that is on the market. So for the first time, we changed a little bit the rule. Instead to use only white wine, in the case of, of Rubino, there is a part of, of Nebbiolo wine inside. So Nebbiolo wine is a red wine, a strong uh, red wine uh, coming from the Piemonte region. And in, in Ambrato, there is the Moscato Bianco that is a, a very floral and very intense aromatic uh, uh, wine. So 
changing completely the rules. So for us, it was difficult to combine them, the botanicals, to have, to have the, nice, the nice smell. I think we were able to do, to do it. So we choose a certain number of botanicals. We made different extracts to combine and to respect the base the Beppe was creating. So the aromatic, the aromatic side of Moscato Bianco has been highlighted using some flower and between it, the Roman chamomile. In the other side, we have reinforced the, the, the taste, the Rubino, uh, using the big, the big shoulder of the Nebbiolo, and we have constructed on, on top of it. Okay, so total different product between them, and totally different from what was in the market. So these are not a Martini Bianco modified or a Martini Rosso modified, uh, two brand new uh, vermouth created from scratch. So they completely reviewed the formulation starting, starting from the wine. Bitter, okay. again, we, ask, we have been asked to revamp the bitter. We have created, Martini has created the first bitter in 1872. Okay. So we have been asked to create, so to build on it and create something new. So we have created Martini Bitter Reserva Speciale that for us has a particularity. It is a sort of, 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 of a, uh, sphere that you can, a professional can turn how we want to create new cocktails. So it is, there is no uh, strange, uh, uh, strange particular taste to smell that are coming out from the formulation. So it's very versatile. So you can create the classic Negroni or American, but you can create also very new, uh, very new uh, cocktail with, with that. Uh, taking account that uh, we try to construct for the best, in particular the bitterness. So if you pay attention, if you drink, uh, if you taste, uh, um, Martini bitter neat. Okay. You have you have a, 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 you can appreciate the evolution of the bitter taste in the mouth after after the time. Okay. I will pass through it because we don't have time. But again, using three botanical, in particular three botanical that were used in the past and now are being are being revamped. They are like Colombo roots, uh, the the Angostura. Everybody of you knows Angostura in particular is very is very particular. We need to have a very strong relationship with the supplier because from Venez having botanical from Venezuela today is very difficult. Okay. And for sure, the Artemisias that are part of our DNA. As innovation is part of our DNA, also the Artemisia are part of that. Is a technical detail. We are re reusing in a different way the, the, the barrels. Okay. In the case of Rubino and Brato, the ester has been rested for two months in wood barrel. In this case, is the entire product has been rested again for two months in, in barrels. And is the, this resting changed completely the, the, the impression, the, the, the tasting uh, result is much more interesting because the little oxidation that the wood allows to the product changed completely the situation in the mouth. Much more modern, okay. The three pre precedent uh, example, so Rubino Ambrato and Martini Bitter, most dedicated to the professional. Okay. Martini Fiero is, is the, the Martini for the millennials. So it's something bright, new, new color, new taste. Uh, something that has been created to be blended with tonic water. Okay. It's something that is important. Everybody of you in Portugal, uh, the, the drink, drinking wine is something that is very common. No one of you put water in a wine because it's not, it's not good. Okay, so we have built the formula of Martini Fiero to be diluted with tonic water. Okay, so the, the, the shoulder, the structure has been created so big that we can afford a dilution 50-50 with, with tonic water. Okay, so every single detail has been, have been reviewed to be sure that we, are, we have the good the good. Result. Obviously, you can taste it neat. Okay, it's a wine-based product and you can use it. So it is interesting because, uh, because of the, of the um, particular bright formulation, the fact that the initial, the initial smell is uh, uh, linked with, uh, with uh, oranges is important for two reasons. One, because we want to highlight something bright, something modern, and also is important because inside, to, uh, to increase the shoulder coming from the wine, we are using real fruit juice, so orange fruit juice in the product to have that, that structure particularly important and to support the dilution with tonic, with tonic water. Okay? 
the smell is coming from Spanish uh, orange peels. Okay, that is interesting because everything has been uh, cut by by hand. Okay, and for sure, again, we have all time a legacy with the origin and the Artemisia are in DNA in the DNA of Martini. So we all time we are moving out. So even Fiero, that is the modern and the millennial Vermouth, has something that can remind you uh, the, the 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 past. Now there is a little surprise, it was one of the goals of today. You can already appreciate something particular. Okay. It's the blue ball that replaced the red ball. And we want to twilight something that for the first time... Just a moment. There are two presentations linked, linked together. Okay. Thank you. So we are launching a non-alcoholic, two non-alcoholic martini. Okay. The two bottles that are there, Vibrante and Floreale. Okay. So is it a surprise for you? We are almost at the end, you can taste them. Okay. We are talking about two non-alcoholic martini. Okay. So what is important is that all the earth of martini is there including, and I have to be very attentive because Beppe is not there, he will kill me, okay, there is a part of the wine in the product. Okay, so we are using the alcoholized wine okay, to make the base of it. Okay. So it's not the finished product from where we are taking out the alcohol, we are de the wine in order to have the entire structure that is typical of martini is still there. Okay, and on top of it, we have built two new expression, two new expression of martini. Obviously, you can imagine that was a big challenge. So, when the marketing has us to make two new non-alcoholic uh, product, say, are you sure you want to launch martini with that? Because if you want to put the logo martini on top of this product, we will not accept any compromise with the quality. Okay, so don't ask us to have cost, etc., etc., because we, if we put the name Martini, it must be a Martini. Okay, so with everything linked with that. Okay. So the body, the smell, all the characteristics, the Artemisia, etc. Okay. So don't be astonished when you will see the product on the market. Don't be astonished about the price because we are not talking about water and flavors. Okay. It's really a new, a new product that has been created because there is, there is a, a real demand of it. Okay. And it's not necessarily only healthiness or, or uh, I don't want to drink alcohol, but it is, is in general. One example that the marketing all, all was telling us and is very interesting is that in a, in a round table, 10 people are ordering an aperitivo. I want an Amer uh, Martini Rosso, Martini Bianco, Rubino, Ambrato. And two or three people are obliged to drink soda, so product for kids. Okay. So the, the, our idea is to offer a non-martini drink, a non-alcoholic drinker, or people that maybe I have to drive so I cannot drink alcohol, offer the opportunity to drink a martini. Okay. But to do it, as I, again, I insist on, the, on this point, we are trying to construct the product from, uh, that is really in, in the gene of Martini. And to do this, we have really used the entire experience. So the under 50 year of Martini, or the knowledge of Martini has been used. Because if you read, if you read the label, there is written 0.5% alcohol. So a non-alcoholic product from a, a, a legal point of view is allowed to use up to 0.5% of alcohol. But to stay there, to stay there with extract of botanical, alcoholic extract of botanical, you need to have different technologies to have the maximum concentration of the, of the, of the aromatic side and stay in that very small quantity of alcohol. The challenge was very important because we have a base where there is no alcohol, so dissolving certain compound in that solution was not easy. So we have to change certain, certain uh, uh, technology we are using for the extraction. I cannot tell you which kind of technology because it's something that is confidential because it's 100% made by us. Okay? Apart the, the alcoholization, the one that's been done by a partner, okay? for the rest, the entire knowledge is there. Botanical technology extraction, build the product together. Okay? And we are talking about two years work. Okay. I, 
at the very beginning, I was not very happy about about this logo. Looks m very modern and like a, a a cartoon. In reality, it's interesting at the end. It's interesting because we are showing that 100% natural. All the aromatic ingredient, the color, everything is natural. Okay. So again, a big challenge to be able to keep the quality at the right level for a product that doesn't contain doesn't contain alcohol. Okay. To give the opportunity to the people to taste and be sure that they feel having a martini in the end. Okay. okay. Martini vibrante, martini floreale. One is as a top note made with bergamot. The bergamot today is very trendy. We invented the use of bergamot a long time ago when the, we launched for the first time Martini Gold with Dolce Gabbana. The top note were made with bergamot. So in this case, the extraction of the bergamot peel has been done in a different, in a different way, again, to concentrate for the maximum. In the other side, Martini Floreale, we take the experience we made with, with uh, uh, Ambrato and using the Roman chamomile, but again, Roman chamomile is very rich in essential oil. The essential oil are not happy when there is no alcohol in something. So we have to change the way to extract the Roman chamomile to be able to put it in the, in the product. But something that is also, and even making Floreal and Brato more interesting, is the fact that you can dilute it with tonic water. Okay, so we are adding water on top of non-alcoholic product. Okay, so again, the construction of the product being studied for two years to be able to keep that opportunity. Okay, so you have something that is, uh, the, the, add, the adding uh, of the tonic water is even highlighting certain characteristics of the two products. So you feel much better the perfume, the CO2 is stripping the flavor from the liquid. Okay? The bitterness of the, of, the, um, of the tonic water is complementary to the bitterness of floral and, and, uh, and vibrant. Okay? So the logos and everything has been made in the martini way, just to remind you that this is, that this is a martini. So there is a lot of links uh, on, 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 on the label. Torino, Italia, Aperitivo, okay. the link with, with the flowers, okay. and particularly the blue bowl that indicate, uh, be careful, you are not drinking alcohol, so you can drink when you want and what you want. Okay. So it's a 360 degree beverage, the morning with a uh, with a croissant, why not? <laughs> it's a joke, but again, refreshing. Yesterday we have a good example. We were at a Cafe di Marzano in Lisbon, uh, and the people were testing it with a slice of pizza. It's very interesting. Okay, so the bitterness of the, even without alcohol, the bitterness and the construction of the formulation was cleaning the mouth, so you can really eat pizza, you can eat, uh, eat uh, ham, you can eat cheese, and, and, and the construction of the formula is cleaning the mouth, so you can feel hungry and you can continue to, to, to drink. Okay. I think I finish. If you have question or if you want to say if you like it or not, I'm very happy to hear what you want. Thank you very much. Everybody happy. Uh, Portugal is very, very shine. Oh, oh, it was too clear, or, or, or uh, you uh, don't understand my English? <laughs> uh, without alcohol, uh, what's the, uh, the uh, shelf life? Uh, obviously, a very good question. Thank you to raise it. Okay. Also, when you open the bottle, first thing you put in the fridge. Okay. 15 days, one month at the, at the maximum. Okay. Don't keep it out of the fridge because obviously, as being protected, we made a, 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 an incredible amount of tests to be sure that the stability is guaranteed, but it's not a core problem. So please keep it in the fridge and try to drink the bottle as soon as possible. Okay. <laughs> but thank you, thank you for the question. It's very interesting. I thought in my Portuguese, apart the bom dia, is not very good. So. <laughs> so you can ask in Spanish. Puede preguntar en español. Es mejor. 
Soy italiano. Pero no, vengo, no vengo de Italia, entonces no coronavirus. Muy <risa> bien. Thank you very much for your attention and pleasure, and I hope you enjoy.